Hello and welcome again to our cooking segment uh, with the community show. Today we're going to be cooking crunchy chili lime shrimp. Very delicious. I just had some last night and we're going to show you how to make it. What you will need, have about a cup, two cups of halved tomatoes. Doesn't necessarily need to be exact. Just have enough tomatoes cut in half that you want. About a cup of crushed tortilla chips with some cilantro and olive oil. You'll use about a quarter of a cup of olive oil, sprinkle cilantro to taste. You're going to take a whole avocado and kind of cube it. Two cups of shrimp. Make sure you get the tails off and the shell. Salt. Paprika. So some sort of chili powder. The recipe that I have calls for something different, but I really like the cayenne powder. Cayenne powder really tastes great. And you're gonna want some ground cumin. Do not put too much cumin on there. A little goes a long way. You're gonna want garlic cloves. Preferably minced. And you're gonna want a good old fashioned lime. Now, let's get started. All right, while you're preparing the food, it's always a good idea to preheat the oven. We're gonna preheat the oven to 425. Now let's get to chopping and dicing. You're going to want to start by just placing the shrimp on the pan. Just try to space them out as much as you can. It doesn't really have to be exact because this is all going to go in a bowl later. So just kind of toss them on there, space them out. Don't try any yet. They're better cooked. This may take a little bit if you do it at my speed, so through the power of editing, we're gonna speed this process up. Hit it, Quentin. All right, after you get all the shrimp on here, you're gonna place the avocado, just kinda scatter it around. And the next step, we're gonna take our halved tomatoes and we're gonna find a spot for each one of them. All right, and after you get everything situated, nice and looking pretty, we're gonna add some garlic. Try to space it out and don't clump it all over one shrimp. Next, we're gonna add some paprika. You're gonna to wanna to do a roughly a quarter tablespoon, but I found once it's in a measuring cup, it's like a little measuring, it all dumps out on one area. So I like to kind of guesstimate, get a nice little coat across the shrimp, lightly dust it. Followed by some cumin. Now cumin, you don't want to add too much. When you talk about a light dusting, if you think it might be too much, stop. And then 
one of the, if you want a little bit of spice in your life, we're gonna do some cayenne powder. I love me some cayenne powder, but some people don't like the spice level to it. Uh, you can adjust it accordingly. And the beauty of this recipe is you could actually have this if you have some people who uh, don't like spice and some people who do, just section off an area. Only put cayenne on one area and no cayenne on the other. Same with any of the other spices. Speaking of other ones, salt. If you're on a low sodium diet, half is low sodium, half is full. Even, with, even without salt, this is gonna have an amazing flavor because this next ingredient we're gonna put is the lime. You wanna cut the lime in half and just squeeze it and pour the juices all over. And the last thing, this is where the crunchy part comes in, is our chips. We're gonna to wanna to sprinkle these evenly. This is gonna give it a great texture to it. Okay, now that we have this masterpiece all prepared, we're gonna to wanna to stick it in the oven. Now, put it in the oven for around 12 to 15 minutes, but you should keep an eye on it. Now, what do you do when you wait 12 to 15 minutes on your food to record, to, to cook? Since I'm cooking here at the office, I'm gonna go inventory some office supplies. Shouldn't take too long. We'll see you in a bit. Keep an eye on the food for me. Pens. Tissues. I'll get you my pretties and your little dog too. <laughs> Need more post-it notes and notepads. Now that our timer is off, should have some nice, delicious crunchy lime shrimp. You can uh, eat it with a friend or just keep it all to yourself. But since there's evidence that I made this, I'm going to share it. This is Josh Dokes again, signing off with Citizens. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you next time. All right, and here we're for your bonus tip at the end of the segment. For those of you who are like me and don't like to bring out as many dishes or you know, you've exhausted all your measuring cups, getting the right rice ratio doesn't require a measuring cup, just a pot, your finger, and your ingredients. If you want to know how to get the right rice to water ratio, take your finger, put it in the pot like that before you turn the heat on, put the rice up to the first knuckle, and then fill it with water up to the second knuckle. And that gives you the correct water to rice ratio.